Commission, directors, the media, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all to this briefing. As you are aware, the Supreme Court of Nigeria yesterday delivered a judgment in a pre-election suit on the Bielsa State Governorship election held on 16th November 2019. The Commission has received the certified true copy of the judgment of the Apex Court, which disqualified the Deputy Governorship candidate and vitiated the joint ticket of the party earlier declared winner in the election. The court also ordered the commission, and I quote, to declare as winner of the governorship election in Belsa State the candidate with the highest number of lawful votes cast with the requisite constitutional or geographical spread. Unquote. In compliance with the orders of the Supreme Court, the Commission met this morning and reviewed the result of the election in which 45 political parties contested. Without the votes scored by the All Progressive Congress APC, whose candidates were deemed not to have participated in the election, the total number of lawful and valid votes cast in the election now stand at 146,999. Out of this figure, the candidate of the People's Democratic Party scored the highest number of lawful votes with 143,000 Let me take that paragraph again. The orders of the Supreme Court. The Commission met this morning and reviewed the result of the election in which 45 political parties contested. Without the votes scored by the All Progressive Congress, APC, whose candidates were deemed not to have participated in the election, the total number of lawful and valid votes cast in the election now stands at 146,999. Out of this figure, the candidate of the People's Democratic Party scored the highest number of lawful votes with 143,172. With this outcome, the election is conclusive at first ballot. Consequently, Senator Duoe Diri and Senator Lawrence Erujakpo of the PDP are hereby declared winners and returned elected as Governor and Deputy Governor of Bielsa State, respectively. The detailed result will be shared with you at this briefing and uploaded on the Commission's website and social media platforms shortly. The Commission is aware that the tenure of the incumbent governor of Bielsa State ends at midnight today, Friday, 14th February 2020. Therefore, in fulfillment of the requirements of Section 75 of the Electoral Act 2010 as amended, the certificates of return to the governor and deputy governor-elect will be presented to them immediately as ordered by the Supreme Court. I thank you very much for your presence. Can we, 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 can we,
Why don't you just quickly settle down to that and say? You today. Is Prince Adeliji Solomon Shoyedi to you as ordered by the Supreme Court of Nigeria? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Well, uh, as we go to the reconciliation committee, a committee that will reconcile us out of the bitterness and acrimony that is currently rocking our state. We want our people to be one. We want our people to be united. So the first step we will take is to set up a reconciliation committee. Have you forgiven your detractors, sir? <laughs>